Professor Marusic. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everybody. I'll take this opportunity to share with you some considerations about the social value of the research as a way to contribute to the progress of mankind and so about the necessity to respect some fundamental principles in conducting our scientific activity. In particular, I will focus on earth sciences and their ethical and social implications. <clears throat> it is a fact that scientific research has clear repercussions on society. So the adoption of ethical principles and standards is essential for a responsible practices of research. Scientists are expected to behave with intellectual honesty and put society's needs first in their activity. They possess the scientific knowledge and these implies moral obligations, especially considering practical consequences. The scientist is a searcher of truth and not a simple research employee. And the research of truth implies the ethical commitment to safeguard the common good. For some scientific disciplines, these considerations are even more evident. Scientists can contribute to bring science closer to all the components of society. If society is not sufficiently involved in the scientific knowledge, we could have two negative consequences. The cultural and social marginalization of scientists with a loss of sense of their role, and the tendency of people to lose confidence in science, to embrace preconceived ideas in non-critical ways ideas sometimes provided by the media, often incorrect, potentially resulting in loss of good sense or in irrational behavior. So, researchers have an ethical responsibility towards both citizens and scientific community to which they belong. It includes making data and results of their research public, easily accessible and user-friendly, transferring advanced knowledge to industry and authorities, participating in educational campaigns for the population, paying attention to scientific communication, simplifying concepts without making them banal, collaborating in the training of the skills of technicians and professionals, assuring their ongoing professional training, developing their research without being overconfident in their own results, verifying the sources of information and the adherence of results to observations, accepting a fair debate with the hypotheses and theories that disagree, and assessing the uncertainties and errors of the results of their studies. All these considerations regard also earth sciences. This group of disciplines studies the planet Earth, all its processes and phenomena, and the links between them and human activities. Their aim is to understand the natural world in order to predict and control many of the variables involved in its dynamics and act to, on their development with a goal to protect the planet and improve people's lives. Life. Their ethical and social implications are evident. So, without an ethical approach, earth sciences run the risk of becoming a body of conventional knowledge not oriented towards the common good and the human progress. For these reasons, geoethics was born. But what is geoethics? Geoethics is a relative new discipline it consists of research and reflection on those values upon which to base appropriate behavior and practices where human activities intersect the geosphere. 
Geoethics deals with the ethical, social, and cultural implications of using earth sciences for societal benefits. It is thus a meeting point of geology, sociology, and philosophy. But above all, geoethics represents an opportunity for geoscientists to become more conscious of their social role and the responsibility in conducting their research and in increasing the awareness of society regarding problems related to natural resources and environment. More in details, Geoethics provides references and guidelines for finding solutions to environmental problems compatible with the respect for nature, encourages a critical analysis of the use and management of natural resources, promoting their eco-friendly development, deals with problems related to the management, communication, education, and mitigation of natural risks, fostering the proper and correct dissemination of the results of scientific studies and information on them. In this perspective, the social cultural role played by geoscientists is essential. Through their research, they can promote a culture sensitive <coughs> to the environment and a more constructive relationship among scientific community, mass media, civil society, and policy makers. Geoscientists can persuade people that natural resources and environment constitute a common heritage which should be considered for its scientific, cultural, and educational value, as well as a social capital. But what does the responsibility of geoscientists consist of? Are geoscientists well equipped to undertake this responsibility? And what motivations are needed to push geoscientists to conduct their research in an ethical way? We have to distinguish an individual responsibility and a social responsibility. The first is the fundament for any social actions. Starting from a quote of Heisenberg that considered natural science not only as a tool to describe and interpret nature, but also as a part of the interface between nature and ourselves, we could affirm that geoscientists, through their research, have the possibility to know not only the truth of natural phenomena, but also of themselves. The research can offer them a way to know their own integrity and the relationship that links them as scientists who act to their own actions. <coughs> Respect for truth and intellectual honesty give sense to their studies. On this basis, their actions can become an effective benefit for society. And so a social responsibility arises. Geoscientists are an active and responsible part of society at the service of the common good. Their social responsibility consists of guaranteeing skills and training, working to the best of their possibility, honestly and ethically, sharing the starting data and the obtained results of their research with other colleagues in order to verify the accuracy of the analysis, paying attention to the correct communication of these results to the public, nourishing the pleasure of a job well done. In particular, comparing and sharing the results of research should not be seen as a threat, but rather as a guarantee of quality and an incentive to improve. The ethical criterion that must guide us as researchers should be rooted in our individual sphere that, it, that is the source of any action, even in the social sphere. On this basis, our research activity can become a real service for others. The ethical criterion of researchers should have the intellectual honesty as main requirement. It includes respect for the truth that they look for and for others' ideas, recognition of the value of others as valuable for themselves, 
spirit of collaboration and reciprocity, identification of a common goal despite the diversity of views, responsibility of their technical cultural expertise, being open to criticism and ready to question their own certainties, reflection on the mutability of knowledge and roles, awareness that conveying scientific knowledge to others is valuable. Well, how can geoscientists, and especially the younger ones, be best assisted in their acquisition of a clear and binding awareness of their ethical responsibility in geosciences? The Italian Commission on Geoethics tried to answer with a proposal for a Hippocratic-like oath for geoscientists presented last August in Brisbane during the International Geological Congress. This is the formula. It calls us to some values we have to consider in conducting our research activities as geosphere protection, sustainability, social benefit. It calls us to a proper use of scientific results to improve our knowledge and work honestly, being aware of the limits of our capabilities and possibilities. What is the significance of an ethical obligation? In the context of a publicly growing demand for ethical behavior by those who have the possibility to intervene within the public domain and to act for the public will, the explicit acceptance of the ethical responsibility by geoscientists can have a following effect. Favoring explicit awareness of their social role expertise and contribution to strengthen their sense of belonging to a scientific community, fostering the awareness of geoscientists of the expectations of citizens and society, stimulating the cultural growth at the individual and community levels, the exploitation of research and the implementation of scientific and professional skills, assuming the commitment for the cultural lifelong increase as an ethical duty. Finally, starting from the consideration that a guarantee for the integrity of research is comparing and sharing scientific results and considering that both of these actions require occasions for discussion, in 2012, the International Association for Promoting Geoethics was founded. It is an international, scientific, multidisciplinary platform born exactly with the goal of widening the debate on problems of ethics applied to the geosciences research, a place for reflections on our skills, the quality of our work, and the contribution that our studies can provide to the healthy progress of humanity. I conclude. The principles of research integrity have to guide us above all because the results of our studies have important repercussions on society. A correct research can contribute to the common good. A research misconducted is a damage for society. Thank you for your attention.